There's my lovely bride. <laughs> Hello, Luther. Huh? How was Wedding Central? Oh, unbelievable. I fired the florist and the flautist. You wouldn't believe the level of incompetence that I have been dealing with. Uh, I ordered three swans and 200 chairs, and what do you think I got instead? You're kidding. Unless we can sit on the swans, we have a big problem. <laughs> I would give anything if just one thing about this wedding would go right. Which reminds me, I want to make sure my dress is right. Where is it? Oh, bye bye. Take it easy. <laughs> Just later. Take it. What was that all about? Uh, oh, nothing. They just probably knew that we wanted to be alone. Hayden. Okay, okay. They, they knew I wanted to talk to you. About what? Uh, the wedding. What's wrong? Well... What's wrong, Christine, is I, see, I think it's become too much about things. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all about swans and, and caterers and florists and flautists. You know, I think I'm really afraid that, well, we're losing track of, of, of what's important, you know, honey? I mean, none of that stuff, it, well, see, it's just window dressing. It doesn't really mean anything. Something happened to my dress. <laughs> huh? Something happened to my dress. That's why you're suddenly deep. Gee, Christine, if you can see through me that easily, where the hell's the mystery? I mean, what kind of journey of discovery are we going to have if you know everything before we get there? God, how bad is it? <laughs> bad, bad. Oh. Well, yeah, I brought the dress home. Instead of taking it into the bedroom, I left it out here in the living room, and Luther was here. Oh! Ah! Yeah. Yeah, and he was looking at it, and the spark jumped out of the fireplace, and the... Oh, no, he burned my dress! Oh, well, a little bit. <laughs> and then he tried to put it out with a soot brush and prune juice. Oh. And then I took it to Mr. Thin, and he said there wasn't enough time to fix it. Oh, God. Christine, there... Only thing I can say is I'm sorry. Where is it? I want to see it. <laughs> no, I don't think you do. I want to see the dress. <laughs> We tried to fix it. <laughs> we spray painted the blue and the black spots and then we uh, spackled the hole. <laughs> I know how crushed you are, man. I don't blame you. You let this happen. It was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. This is just unbelievable. You know how much that dress meant to me. I know, and I'm sorry. If there's any way I could fix it, believe me, I would. There is. You can help me call 105 people and tell them the wedding is off. Well, what are you talking about? How do you expect me to get married without a dress? Jeez, Christine, I'm not marrying a dress, I'm marrying you. We can get married in blue jeans for all I care. Oh, that would be great. We could have a hold-down wedding. We could, get, we could get married on horseback. We could have franks and beans at the reception. Well, that would be fine with me. <laughs> no, I gotta tell you, I think what I said is true. What matters, honey, is the commitment we're making to each other, not what we're wearing, not what color the flowers are. All that other stuff is nonsense. Oh, well, I'm sorry if I just wanted to make our wedding perfect. Well, I'm sorry, too. It's not perfect. Look at you. You're nuts. You're making me nuts. You're the one that taught me about priorities, Christine. What the hell are the priorities here? The wedding or the marriage? Well, the marriage, obviously. Well, that's what I think it is. That's what I think the priority is. But what the hell we've been talking about for the last five months? I think we're losing track of what's important.